Hello everyone. Welcome to Art Appreciation. My name is Monica Lynn James and I'm very excited to be your faculty instructor. The course is designed to introduce you to works of art from a broad range of time periods and different cultures. You will learn to use and understand the language of art history and art criticism via the elements of art and principles of design. We will hone your communication skills in relationship to various characteristics within works of art. As we explore the timeline of art history, research will be an integrated part of discussions and a final project. The final project will explore the challenges of cultural dominance within the institutions of art. The entire course is designed to help enrich your appreciation and understanding of art and it is my hope that you will discover connections that will extend beyond this class and each find your own unique way to apply the skills that you have learned. Art criticism isn't really that scary. I mean, I myself love Gordon Ramsay and we tend to think because of television that it's a very frightening thing. But it is truly about evaluation. And this is a skill that impacts critical thinking and can be applied to any field of study. For the textbook, we are using an open education resource. It is a collection of websites and articles which contain all of the reading and viewing content for each module. Each week is contained in a module in Canvas, which acts like a folder, holding all of the readings and assignments that you'll need. At the end of each week, there are alternating assessments in the forms of a check for understanding. That's my new name for a quiz, so the quizzes are less scary. Check for understanding. Um, and I actually allow you to go back and retake. So if you didn't know it, you can go back, learn it, and make sure you know it. So it really does act like a check. Um, and also discussions where we practice writing critically and thinking critically about what we're learning. Um, later on, I've also designed some hands-on projects that will let you uh, try your hands at some of the things you're learning about. I would suggest setting aside two to three regular days uh, per week to go through the class and alternate between reading and viewing artwork and taking notes and then completing your online assessments to see if you got everything. Uh, your next step should be the Start Here module and getting familiar with the course content. I hope that you all have a great start to your quarter and please contact me if you ever have any questions or need any help. I'm only an email away. Thank you and have a great week. See you guys in the discussion.